Gruesome Magazine. Hey, it's Jeff. Hello, once again, I am your host, Doc Rodden, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on the man horror movies. Each week, my co-host, Jeff Moore, Christopher G. Moore, and I will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings tonight. It's another shark movie, ladies and gentlemen. We are reviewing Maneater from Saban Films, featuring Tracy Atkins and more. <laughs> Joining me tonight is the one and only Jeff Moore. Jeff, how you doing, sir? Uh, you know what? The, the end of the summer is rapidly approaching. This may it be is. the last shark movie we get. Let's we'll see. So. We'll we'll see about that. We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll sir. see about that. Let's <laughs> hope so. Also joining us tonight is award-winning filmmaker and shark lover, Christopher G. Moore. How you doing, sir? I'm doing okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I, I'll just I'll just say this: devils don't feed; it's just a fish. <laughs> That there, makes there. that's that makes my best us, my base my best Trace Atkins <laughs> impersonation. That makes as much sense now as it did in the movie. Oh, it does it, it makes I have no, no sense. idea what that <laughs> makes as about as much sense as an empty cash register. Um <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Good night. We are out of here. <laughs> no, we are here to review Man Eater. What we're going to do is we're going to start off giving you our first impressions. That first impression will be spoiler free, like this movie has spoilers. It's a shark movie. Guess what happens? Uh, then we will dive into discussion and talk about um, yeah, spoilers, probably. And then we'll wrap things up with our final thoughts, our score, one to five, and our favorite scene. And we hope you enjoy not only this review, but many others that we have on the site. And if you do, please hit the subscribe, the like, and the share with a friend because that will help us greatly. And we are trying to reach 5,000 subscribers, and that will help us in that goal. So thank you. Um, of course, we'd love to hear your comments as well. And drop those down in the comments below. Uh, with that said, let's dive into this, starting off with the CAD. Man Eater 2022 from Saban Films, available in theaters. <laughs> Imagine that. And On Demand in Digital, August 26, 2022, written and directed by Justin Lee. The cast includes Nikki Whelan, Tracy Hackins, Shane West, and Jeff Fahey. The synopsis is after an accident during their vacations on a paradisiac island. Can we just say <laughs> paradise island? A group of friends is stalked by a large shark and i had to say that with a serious face all right let's get into this let's do our first impressions and we're going to start out with the one and only and jeff moore jeff sir let us have it okay um this this is a really bad movie but i loved it i <laughs> just had great fun with it even though uh the uh is it is it tracy or trace i thought it was tracy it's, but it might be trace it's it's, it's spelled trace like Atkins. trace but trace uh, or, so uh, anyway yeah um i it's the kind of character i absolutely hate the kind of person i knew a guy i know a guy like this that talks like that and says things really slow oh oh wait a minute this could be me says things really slow in a deep voice and and think that adds impact and and with you know down home colloquialisms i just really but for some reason it was just so over the top that i just got a kick out of it so um the lead actress is just terrible i thought uh, <laughs> sorry um and I, I don't know what else to say, but people do a lot of really stupid stuff and they die. And <laughs> I they don't die. Know what else to say. And they die. <laughs> oh, man. And then that's it. That's all just, I'm saying. I'm just say he on the side, right? Uh, well, yeah, you do. And it, it's, <laughs> that's a, there's a definition of a day player in that one. Uh, mm. But, you know, he's, he might be the best thing in the movie. 
There's an argument. Yeah. There's an argument to be had. All right, Christopher G. Moore, sir. Shark lover that you are. What is your first impression of Maneater? Um, um, uh, I think I think Jaws is turning over in his grave. Ah, um, Bruce, you poor this, thing. Uh, and there's even a bigger boat reference. In Maine. There is. It's my, terrible. My eyes rolled out of my head down the street. So. <laughs> Uh, I, this movie is <laughs> it's bad but bad on so many different levels it's shot like it's one tree hill it's shot like some tv movie oh, tv wow. show from the 2000s uh you Not know long. there's there's like these long shots and different things where, where it's shot like a like a tv show uh, it, you know and then the actors are all bad, and there's parts where they're badly dubbed, especially when they're out on the water. Um, and then when the shark attacks happen, it's it's almost like the same footage where they just throw a lot of water in front of it and a lot of blood in the water. a different person in the mouth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they just have some <laughs> CGI person. And let me just say right now, this has one of the most idiotic things i've seen in years you have the ability oh you, you spend all this money on cgi stuff but the most practical thing you could do is a dead body wearing a hawaiian shirt floating in water and they create a CGI version of it. That's one of the most <laughs> ridiculous things I have <laughs> ever seen. You you had you spent money, people creating a CGI version of that. When you could just throw, I I could do that. I could do that in my friend's pool tomorrow if I wanted to. There's ways of doing that. Spielberg did that on Jaws. He shot part one shot in his swimming pool. Literally. You gonna spend CGI money on that? This movie is ridiculous. It, it the the action stuff is shot really badly. Um, the the dialogue is horrible. I just felt bad for Jeff Fahey. He deserves better than this. Um, horrible. there's so many yeah. There's just so <laughs> many things wrong. The way it's shot, it it's not shot like a movie. It's and there's like there's these really bad songs they put to like these overhead. There's so many overhead shots of stuff. They just like they play this really bad song where the camera's going across over across, showing people waves, you know, and then they just have these really bad CGI sequences trying to make up for the fact that they can't like I mean, there's a few things that feel like they might have done had some kind of practical thing in the water that looks really bad. So they just shake the camera a lot so you can't see that it's a really bad shark. <laughs> uh this is true. Yeah. <laughs> and Trace Atkins is bad. I mean, there's just there's really not anything nice I can say about this film. That there's probably, I mean, there's probably one shot that I kind of liked because of what happened, but it, it, it's it's boring too. <laughs> uh, and the movie's only like an hour and a half, so I don't know. I I, I yeah, this this man eater ate my brain by the end. Ate of it. your brain. Like, <laughs> uh, ate your brain. I'm I am no longer the same person I was after watching this. Because <laughs> as a filmmaker, there's just so many things that were wrong with this. It's like this this is bad bad. I mean, this makes me want to. <laughs> this makes Asylum stuff look like Citizen Kane. It's just because at least they know what they're doing. I don't know about that. At least with Asylum, they knew what they're <laughs> making and they just do it. You know, it's like Charles Band stuff. At least they know what they're doing, and the cheesiness is part of it. This they're they're trying to be serious about it, and it looks bad. So, anyway, it looks bad. I I can't disagree with you, Christopher. I mean, I I'm a little bit more in Jeff's camp because I. To me, I, it was more campy and stupid fun, and I, I'm a sucker for a good shark. Or well, let me, let me rephrase it. I'm a sucker for a shark movie. Doesn't have to be good. <laughs> but I'm a sucker for a shark movie. Now I've seen lots of really bad shark movies, and this one, I, this one's on the cusp. It's on the cusp of really bad. <laughs> Shark movies, but I don't know. There was something about just how ridiculously stupid it was at times that it felt like more of a campy movie 
than a bad movie um or campy because it was bad kind of situation i i had a good time with it i am not going to sit here and say it was a good movie because it's not it's a very bad movie um the the shark effects are horrendous um, although when the shark is by itself in the water, it has kind of this like scarry face to it that I I thought was kind of cool. I liked how, and I liked how they, they I mean, they, they, we'll get into the spoilers about the shark. There, there's an aspect to the shark that they're trying to build up to. And the, yeah, I don't know. But I almost, I, I, I will say, Christopher, I almost turned it off when they did that line about the bigger boat because it it was so it was so poorly delivered and so poorly inserted into the movie that you know we, we you know, we've reviewed movies that take famous lines from other movies and use them you know in in good ways in a movie they're not here not here not this one and it is probably one of the most famous lines in all of cinema next to rosebud right so um yeah, and it just it's it's kind of painful. Makes you makes makes you kind of want to throw up a little bit. But um I I I'm a little on just camp though for some some reasons on this one. <laughs> I have no good reason. I can't support it in any good way. But I had a good time. Trace Adkins is no Robert Shaw Trace, by any Trace. stretch of the madness. Yeah. Oh, you got that. I, I I looked it up by the way, and I am horribly wrong it is not tracy at all it is trace but they say it's trays like with a y trays that doesn't make sense to me so i'm going to go with what you say sir christopher also let me just point out another thing that i didn't like <laughs> let's do that let's get into the spoilers well, so that, dive into it let's do well it. The, here's the thing you know i understand there's limitations with budget okay there's literally a moment where they're on this boat and they're like oh look at that Look at that smaller shark. Now that shark's not that that fish is okay. Oh, that's a tiger shark. You don't see what they're looking at the whole time. Oh, the whole time, yeah. They're just describing what they see, which is like, don't even have that in your movie. If you're not gonna show, go find some stock footage. I'm sure there's stock footage of tiger sharks or something. But they're just like, oh, that, that, oh, that, that. About the buck it's, 99 to me, it just it points out the fact, oh, <laughs> we don't have money or we're not actually on the ocean or something. That, that just like, I almost had an aneurysm. <laughs> like, why, why, why is the scene in here if you're not going to show something, you know? Oh, uh, uh, but I will say, the, 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 the I think the one moment that kind of caught me off, caught me off guard and I kind of like, there's a part where, they uh which is again stupid things people do like oh throw this rope on me <laughs> i'm sure the shark won't get me while the ropes are wrapped around me but the girl on the on the uh the deck or whatever mm -hmm. uh the pier yeah. or whatever yeah. yeah yeah she gets dragged and her she falls back and hits her head and i went whoa <laughs> that goes Big old red splat. Yeah and that's the one moment I was like, okay <laughs> that is the one moment I okay that is one moment I kind of enjoyed, even though it was kind of brutal. But uh, but everything else is just. I ridiculous. thought they handled the one guy who gets his leg bit off on the and then comes up on the beach, and you know it's obvious that they just dug a hole and stuck his yeah stuck his leg foot in it. it. But I mean, right, right, right. It, it works, right? I mean, that's that's a gag that works, right? It works whether it's on wood or in the sand. It doesn't matter. It works. I thought that particular scene was better handled than most everything else it, it felt well, the hamburger on his back too that was that was the hamburger on this one the well I, I also <laughs> think that the guy on the the boat out there I, don't most people who have a boat have a net <laughs> <laughs> it's just like like a yes net on a stick you know what well, i mean well first first though but this is like nobody I mean, he ends up just dropping it, but there's one point where he sticks a walkie-talkie in his shirt pocket, and I'm like, nobody who spends any time on a boat puts anything in their shirt pocket. No, no, nope, nope, that they that no. they don't want to lose. I mean, it's, it's just it's ridiculous. And then uh, there were so many of those. I just was, I was. Yeah, there's just, lots of stupid decisions these people make. For, there's a lot. No there's reason. a lot of three stooges bumbling going on. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh don't you know? You keep that hand wrapped up. Don't go on the water. <laughs> What's he do? Yeah, yeah. What does well, he I mean, say? 
I guess if a girl drops her shorts and jumps in the water, you might go ahead and follow her into the water. I don't know, maybe, but it the was biggest, the biggest friggin' knife dumb. you got and sticks it right through the. I know that was so stupid. Yeah, no. <laughs> and and uh, the captain goes, "No, wait, don't." <laughs> Yeah, but the there's girl, a lot, there's... Uh, I think her name is, is her name Nikki Whalen? Nikki Whalen, the, the, yeah, the, the lead actress. She starts off, I mean, the setup is she just got stood up on the altar. This is supposed to be like a honeymoon trip or a wedding or something. I guess it's right? a honeymoon, yeah. And she gets stood up. So she just is like, oh, I'm so, oh. she just was, God, it was the worst. Um acting and then oh the irony of it all oh the all irony. her friends go down there to cheer her up and they all die <laughs> every single one of everybody them. but her and they wouldn't be there if it wasn't for her moping around uh anyway yeah i just she couldn't even was... couldn't even save her legless friend no, no I, was gonna, yeah, I, yeah, I thought yeah. well she tried. Like, she tried well i was thinking shane west is the only person that the, of some name, you know, and I thought, well, maybe they'll keep him alive. Nope, nope. You got the worst of it in the way. Well, the, <laughs> the, the, the other boat, you know, uh, as Harlan, Trace Atkins, Harlan, his daughter gets eaten at the beginning, and so he's on a mission. So he's driving this boat out across the water, and as we switch between scenes of of uh, Captain Wally. And uh, the the kids on the island, who aren't really kids, they're forty year olds acting like uh, college kids. Um, yep. We have intermittent shots. We have them. Here's a scene, and then we go to him <laughs> driving his boat at max throttle, and then back to them again. And then when he comes into that dock, how did that happen? First, he well, says it's too shallow for him to go in there, and, and the other then, ones did too, right? Yeah. Yeah, That's and then he says after too. he's at, he's zooming in and all of a sudden he's at the dock and he's getting off the boat and does she jump up to run and meet him because now somebody's there to save her? No, he's sitting moping on the beach because her. Anyway, I'm sorry. She's I, a moper. She's a moper. All her friends, all her friends died. I I, I grant that, but then, uh, then how did he get there? I just don't know. It's just like boom, boom, boom. There he is. Well, they call and, that plot. They call it plot. It's not plot holes, but it's plot logic or something like that. Well, that that in it, that in it, that in no. the shark. The shark was so big. Uh, he he would have <laughs> he wouldn't have been able to swim in that shallow water either. So I don't know. Right. <laughs> I don't know. There's just parts of it that don't. Well, they make do make no a plan, sense. but they do make a plan based on that, right? Because oh. he's he can't get out of the yeah. At the end, I so at the end. She acts as a decoy, basically. Yes. yes. She's... And he goes, swim, baby, swim, or something. I can't remember what he yells at her. But but he fires that shotgun 40 times. I mean, I've never seen, never, never once does he reload. There might have been one spot where he reloads where she's like standing out on the reef. But yeah, he's like, just up there going over and over and over again. Boom, 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 boom. There's no pause. There's no what what I, so I don't think it is serious, Chris. Nobody can do something like that and be serious about it. I, I, yeah, but I I again I think that they're this isn't this isn't like airplane where they're playing it serious and it's supposed to be funny. I, I really think they're trying to play this. I mean, they're even trying to be at all all sympathetic because there's a <laughs> the opening scene where the father's like Oh, have fun. And then he stops and looks back. Like all I mean, it, literally it's 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 like it's like it's a, a soap opera. It, I mean, again, that's why I, I want to reheal it. This it feels like those sort of like TV shows from like the 2000s, you know? And like the OC or any of these type of things where it's just it's right, like those late right. night soap operas, you know? And and you know, then they try to be all hip, like, oh, we'll play this hip music and we'll have the camera go across or whatever. Um, I mean, there is that funny bit where you see the see all the young kids jumping off the cliff, and that one <laughs> kid jumps off into the mouth of the shark, even though it's bad CGI shark. But um, but again, it's well, 
there, there's just moments where it's like, oh, we need to we need to make this film an hour and a half. So we're just gonna show all these different shots of the beach and stuff in, you know, play some hip music to it, which is not even good music. The the music score on this is horrible. Oh, it, impede, no. it impedes any element of anything happening. It's so apparent. It feels like some little some like oh almost like they played stock music that doesn't go along with what's happening so, in the scene. So my terrible thing that happened that makes no sense is he's asking her, Harlan's asking Jesse. So it was just, uh, it was just you and him and this other girl or something like that, your other friend. And she goes, no, there were seven of us. They go, well, seven people died, but there was eight of you. There was six friends, six of them. And then Captain Wally and Beth. His his, on the his first mate, so I, yeah, his Gilgan. Not 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 count the guy <laughs> that dies cliff diving that the shark jumps up and snatches him right out of yeah. nobody and the daughter and the daughter from the beginning, right? Yeah, we never get any discussion of that. That's not so. And there's a whole what's the whole scene where the Trey Zakin stops his guys on the boat, and you can tell they're actually out of the water. So he's trying to, <laughs> so they have to kind of shoot it. <laughs> So he has this weird conversation where he's holding on to the other boat. It's like, oh right, kinda, right, 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 right. <laughs> it's kind of obvious that they are actually the guy, out in the water. <laughs> the guy that's the guy whose boat he says he hit a reef, and it's got this these weird little shark claws teeth. And marks in it. Yeah, teeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He goes, that's that's no that's no <laughs> that's no reef. That's a shark bite. <laughs> <laughs> well oh he says God. something about i don't know if my shark could, i don't know if my boat could take any more hits from it well he had, the shark hasn't hit it yet in any of the film that we saw mm, true. you know he he drives up there on the beach he doesn't get hit by the shark while he's doing that when he I drives guess they up ran, the they ran out of budget to yeah. show like everything else they don't show it you know and this is one of the few, few times where like show it well he tells we, yeah and he tells never, the sheriff you know what happened last time you said something stupid like that? I'm like, you stomped out of his office. What do you mean? You, you're talking like you beat him up or you, you know, or I don't know. Oh, my God. And the, and the whole Coda scene, you know, where the guy from the Philippines shows up with the sheriff. Oh, at the end? Really, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really, really pushing for his sequel. What, really. That was so drawn out and awkward and... The dialogue was terrible. It was like, why are you drawing this out? There's no there's no tension here. There's no suspense. We know what's happening. Get on with it. It was oh and that's kind of what the rest of the movie before that was. It's kind of the same thing where they're just basically, you know, it's shark chum. Everybody's shark chum. Yeah, and you, you end it with that really yeah. bad line. You're gonna need a bigger boot. Oh my god. Stop. That was we'll a, need a bigger boat. That was how old? Yeah. How old was your son? How old was your boy? How old was your boy? Who <laughs> <laughs> wrote this dialogue? It's so bad. Oh my god. Well, you okay? Sorry, but it is one. Justin Lee, the director, wrote the dialogue. Yeah. Well, All right. Um, there you go. So I was there flipping back. I, I was looking through his other movies and. They're all fairly low rated, but I noticed the guy that plays Captain Wally. Um, Who is, might be the best thing in the movie. Ed Maroney. He's, he's in all the movies. And then yeah. they have one somebody spiked in there like Tony Todd's in one. Scout, <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> yes. Scout Taylor Compton's in one. Casper uh, Von Diem's in one. That's, oh, this, all sounds, this all sounds <laughs> right up the same... Yeah. Oh, Tom Berenger. Tom Berenger. Oh, of course, of course. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would dare say that the captain of the boat guy was maybe the funniest thing in the movie. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up because I think uh, the, the poop pile is getting pretty high. So let's go ahead and give us our final thoughts, our score, one to five, and our favorite scene. And uh, I believe Jeff, I believe you are first. Give it to us. Let's, favorite let's scene. It. Okay. Um, yeah, you got to pick a favorite scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got we to pick three. So many to pick from. We got to pick three. <laughs> so, 
this score is going to sound weird. I'm going to, it really deserves like a 0. 0.5. Yeah. Because yeah, there's not, yeah. Uh, but I had two points of fun with it. So I'm going to, I'm giving it a two. <laughs> <laughs> I love not because it. it's a, it's not a too good movie. It's just, uh, and I did the same thing I did with The Innocents in that I accidentally watched it uh, like a week ago thinking it was for last time when we first got the yeah. screener. So I watched it again. You watched, <laughs> it, watched it twice! It you watched Ooh. it twice! Dude, refreshed my memory and I laughed even harder. Um, the guy, Harlan, this character, I'm not, I, I kid you not, I know a guy that acts, he can walk in there and play that exactly the same way. Mm. And that's who he, that's who he's is or tries to be or whatever. Um, so it was just, I just was astounded at it. Um, so favorite scene, I, I, I'm sorry, I guess I just, I got to take the, uh, let's see, is it the, 40 shotgun shots without <laughs> loading. It's a video <laughs> or game. Or is gun. it the shark that jumps 20 feet in the air to snatch a diver from midair? Yes, I'll, I'll take yes. the I'll take the 40 sh- shotgun shots. And just there you go. I'm sitting there watching that just going. <sighs> anyway. You get two. Two. That's all you get. You gotta load. Okay. Um you, oh my god. Well, you can you could get uh Actually, I think you can get five in some of the automatics. Oh, you or, can? Or, okay. In All a right. pump. Usually the law limits them to three. And now I'll have some gun enthusiasts correct me here. But um, still. I know. Like 40 or 50. I, I, know I lost count. Guns. I couldn't count as fast as he was shooting. <laughs> at least 40. At least 40. Christopher G. Moore, sir. Your final thoughts. Your score. Your favorite scene. Any. Well, this film stars Shane West, and he was in a film called A Walk to Remember. Well, this is the swim to non-remember or unremember. Mm, the swim to uh, it, It's, <laughs> um, this, this movie is not good on so many levels. Um, the, the, the dialogue is bad. The acting is bad. Trace Atkins is basically just himself, which doesn't I mean it's still bad. Uh, just almost like he's actually reading the phone book at points. Um, and, uh, of course, the effects is bad. I, I mean, I, I, w- I will give them props that compared to the other shark movie you watch where they had CGI blood in the water, at least in this one, they put some kind of stuff in the water to where you'd see it wash up on the shore with some kind of red hue so i don't don't know if they put kool-aid or whatever in the water so at least i give them props for that um excellent but but yeah the cgi body in the hawaiian shirt is one of the most ridiculous uses of cgi i've seen in a very long time uh and i've seen sharks out of the moon um so yeah and, and and again, it's shot like a bad TV show from two thousands. Why, why? Uh, you know, it it it's. Uh, I'm just not. This is not a. This is a waste of my breath talking about this. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna give it. Are you now? I don't know if you want to. I'm gonna give it one point five. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna give it one point five. I'll be nice. Um, okay. I was gonna give it a one. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't blame you, but <laughs> I will say, um, my, I will say the the one moment that saved it is when is my favorite scene, and that's when the, the girl who's holding the rope gets pulled, and that woman I actually, I actually gasped because it was so like quick, because <laughs> she gets. You know, of course, the idiotic move of like, oh, hold this, put this rope around me so I can swim out and, and get him. And just pull me in. And, and yeah, <laughs> so that the shark can eat me <laughs> and then pull whoever's on the pier out into the water. But she gets jerked so violently 
she falls back and hits her head splat <laughs> and gets jerked into the water. And I will say that moment actually was really effective. So that is the one that is the best moment out of the whole film or the only moment I actually enjoyed. <laughs> There you go. Well, because that... I, I was actually, okay, that, that was the, it was very effective in what it was doing. If the rest of the film was like that, I'd be talk, saying something different, but the rest of the movie is shite. It's, it's not, shite. it's, it's, it's not even, it's not even bad. Good. It, it's not even like piranha women. Good. That's another, that's a, that's a thing with water and, and f fish <laughs> predators. That's much more entertaining than this, you know, hour and a half movie so yeah I, I will say yeah when the girl gets jerked into the water that's a, that, the only that, effective thing in the whole that, movie that was a good scene that was a good scene i um i'm kind of in jeff's camp i i agree with you christopher this movie is shite shite is a good way to say this movie. it's bad um but I, I i kind of felt there was a campiness to it in the way it was made and kind of um that I, I'm going to give it a 2.0 as well. I'm, I, I feel like that's where it is. Um, I would fault no one for giving it anything less. I would, I would, and I wouldn't fault <laughs> anybody for giving it more, but I would question it. But yeah, this movie. It, it, <laughs> <it's just bad. laughs> um, one, one of my favorite scene. Um, I, I, okay. So, there's a really stupid scene that I thought was just hilarious. And I don't know why it's, I thought it was hilarious because it's just stupid. But we, we talked earlier about the thing, the uh, the walkie-talkie contraption thing that he puts in his pocket and it falls out and he, you know, it causes them both to die, right? <laughs> because the shark eats them. Later, our heroine finds it, right? And mistakes it for her own that she had earlier. And she's like, Looking at this is whose is this? I don't know whose is this. <laughs> and they have two of them, and they can't. <laughs> they don't. They can't. They're looking at each other like, <laughs> and then they have to have it do the feedback to realize what's going. On. Okay, that is how dumb <laughs> this movie is. That's an example of how dumb this movie We're is dumb. because Thank that's you. kind of a stupid scene. But for me, that's also illustrates the campiness of how kind of brainless this movie is because i think it is kind of brainless they forget it's brainless but right right you're giving it too much credit Colin. i campy. think i am <laughs> i think i am <laughs> i think i might right. be um <laughs> i mean i don't know it needs more jeff Fahey. if jeff Fahey had been the captain Oh, wouldn't that have been fun? I, I might was... have enjoyed it more. Yeah. But uh, I don't think Jeff Fahey wanted to be in this film anymore. Than he was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I was trying to look where this was shot and I didn't see. Was it uh, in oh, Mexico, I maybe? I, th I, I thought maybe there was a free trip I mean, it, or something. I don't say. I mean, at least, you know, at least they shot a lot of it out in the water, which is a lot of the, it, yeah. like the Requin or something where they just shoot it in green screen. Mm -hmm. At least a lot of it was shot at least sort of on water. Yeah, 20 teeth, 20, 20, 200 teeth, excuse me, 200 teeth, zero chance. Good tagline. Fun tagline. Better than a minute. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get out of here while the getting's good. <laughs> Jeff. Sorry, Christopher. sorry. Apologize to the filmmakers <laughs> for being so hard ass. No, work. we don't. I, I, I apologize too, because as a filmmaker, I, 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 you know, I've gotten, I, I've read reviews on IMDb about some of my stuff where people are like zero stars, and and I can sort of understand that, but, uh, but you know, <laughs> we all we all have different likes in the world. And well, so, here's here's a challenge. Yes, that's true. Objective. Here's a challenge. You guys listening, check out this movie and tell us. Are we out of our minds? Are we are we looking for more than should be here? Is there so, are we wrong? Let us know in the comments down below. I want to hear from you, the listener, our, how far off we are. But with that, we have to end this. Jeff, Christopher, thank you for joining me. Uh, the, I you know as bad as this, we said this movie was, it's still a lot of fun to watch and talk about. So thank you. We need uh, a bigger podcast. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You delivered that much better than the other line in the movie. 
Let's say good night. <laughs> good night. Good night.